Let's see what we can find to flip from Goodwill today. Hello, my name is Margaret and I'm a full-time reseller. Today I'll be showing you 10 things to pick up from Goodwill thrift stores to sell on eBay. Again, I am Margaret and with my partner Juan, we are both full-time resellers. We sell online and locally. We make videos helping resellers like yourself become more successful. So whether you're a new reseller or just wanting to ramp up your income, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos that might help you reach that goal. One of the things that first jumps off the shelf when I'm at Goodwill today are these, they're corn. And the first one uh, jumped off the shelf at me because it looked like garnet beads, like little chipped garnet beads, but I could see that it was kind of peeling off so I knew it wasn't. However, I see the little corn and I know that there are some glass and lucite fruits and vegetables that can bring in a really good profit. So the first thing I wanna talk about is art glass corn. This corn that I found at the Goodwill is definitely something I'm not going to be picking up, but if you take a look at Art Glass corn, there is a, kind of a wide variety of prices. These are sold up on uh, eBay, and there were some like $19.99, like that one is pretty good, but the others, you know, it kind of depended on the size and the quality and and so forth and like this one that's got a lot of them so the corn i would say was something that is a probable pickup if i'm going to be out looking and i see some art glass corn for a dollar or two that's probably something that i am going to pick up to flip on ebay i found some other art glass I guess it's a vegetable, a uh, carrot here. They wanted $4.29 for this. And while the art glass corn would sell for a really good profit, when I looked up the carrot, it really wasn't something that was going to be something I would want to pick up, especially for this price. So here you can see some solds on eBay for about $5 for two of them. And then there's a cluster of uh, fruit and vegetables that sold for around $10. It was the best offer accepted. Really, they just weren't selling that well on their own. So picking up art glass carrots on their own is going to be definitely not. However, I want to put a caveat on that. If you see them for like a dollar or less, it might be worth stacking them up to make a lot of art glass vegetables because that is something that I did see was selling well. If you could get a lot of them, fruits and vegetables, they could sell upwards of $75 to $100. Here's a few different sold listings that I found on eBay. So picking them up, say for a dollar or so, or maybe you see a lot of them at a garage sale, well, that's something that kind of puts it in a different light. And I might start making a, a a pile of art glass vegetables and fruits that I could lot up to get a really good profit on. So once again, it's not going to be all art glass fruits and vegetables, I promise. This is a really cool grape um, art glass and I'm used to seeing the clusters like this, glass or lucite clusters of grapes, which I know can definitely sell for a lot of money. Now this one on further reflection has a seam, so it's not even blown glass. You can see the seam right there. All right, but if you find these clusters of lucite grapes or glass grapes, they can sell for so much money. They don't have to be purple. They come in lots of different colors. So if you see these art glass like grape clusters, definitely pick them up. I will say though that I did find one of these glass grapes like one piece like like this one that sold for about twenty dollars so depending on the price point going in if it's five bucks i probably might not get it it's still a ten dollar profit but if it were a dollar or so then that might be something that i would pick up to sell because i did see sold on these and that's very promising so moving on i see this little trinket dish but there was no mark on it so i left that behind but the next thing that I spy is this pewter eagle. Now, I love selling figural items, and I thought, okay, pewter, yes. Eagle, yes. It's something people love to collect. This one looks like it's in really great shape. They only asked about $3 for it, and so I decide to look it over to see if there's any kind of maker's mark. The only mark that I notice on it is that it is pewter. I'm trying to get it to focus for you there, pewter. I don't see any kind of uh, branding or, or forger, for, what do you call it, a forge, any maker on this. 
So I decide let's go ahead and look this up and see if this is something that I would want to pick up for three dollars. And as I'm looking, I see kind of a wide variety of smaller uh, pewter eagles and then some larger ones. So pewter eagles that are just marked straight pewter, I would look it up, but overall I would think not, unless it's a really big one. Now, what I did notice when I was researching it, that Wilson pewter eagles are definitely worth picking up. So I saw this Wilson one that sold for $60. And this one, it shows that it sold for $39, but a best offer was taken. So let me show you what the mark looks like for that, for the Wilson pewter. So there that is. So as far as Wilson pewter eagles goes, I would say that is something that is a definite pickup. The next thing I saw were these really sweet, I think they're salad size plates. They're really, they're not as big as dinner plates. So this is American Atelier Monkey Plate. So may have butchered that name, but when I looked these up, they wanted $4 and I'm not sure if that was $4 a piece or $4 for the set of them. If it was $4 for the three of them, that, that was something that is a definite pickup. $4 a piece might be a bit of a stretch. So on eBay, there were a few solds. One was a, a set of three that sold for $19.95, and then a set of four that sold for $16.99. Again, if they were a dollar for them or $4 for them all, then it's definitely something that I could have picked up. And there were even solos that were up. These are ones that were up for sale, but I think there were four solds and like only five listed. So it was still something that is selling pretty consistently. So I would say that this is a definite pickup. I looked at other patterns from this brand and it was kind of hit or miss. So I think if you see that brand, it's something definitely worth looking up. The next thing I found was this really pretty Marty Stoneware trinket dish. So I thought, you know what, let me look this up. It looks like it has really nice handiwork. So I thought, you know, well, maybe this is something that would be worth picking up. It's kind of shaped like an ashtray, but I don't think it's an ashtray. It must just be a trinket dish. Yeah, there we go. But there's no, um, yeah, it's not to hang on the wall. There's no hanging for it. So the only one that I found that was so sold sold on eBay for $15 and then there was one other one that was up for sale for $21 I think the one that I found is a lot prettier unfortunately I think that is something that I will not pick up because yeah I mean $15 is the only sold that was up there 21 bucks so I don't know how hot the market is for that now when I saw this I was floored it's a claw clock it's got the tarot cards on it. It's got the zodiac on it. I thought this is really cool. It says I work. So $5.59 for this wall clock, tarot card wall clock. I just thought it was super cool. I, I wondered if it had had any like noises and stuff, what it would have sounded like, but it didn't. Um, so this tarot card zodiac wall clock. I could find none like it up on eBay. These are some that are sold. They don't look like the one that I found, but the one I did find that was exactly like this was sold on Redbubble. So when you find something like this, this is something that you would be able to turn around and sell for $25, maybe even 30. If you put a video in your listing to show that it's working, I think this is something that is a definite pickup. Someone donated a lot of bells and immediately I recognize this DeGrazia bell. This artist has a very distinctive style and so it jumped off the shelf at me immediately. So when I'm looking at it, I'm looking it over for any kind of cracks or chips. Unfortunately, when it comes to different artists, their prints might sell really well or certain pieces of their artwork might sell like figurines. Not everything does. So it's really important to take a look and do a deeper dive on what you're trying to pick up to sell. Luckily, this artist's bells do sell. So as you can see, there are quite a few that are sold. So this is a definite pickup. The next bell that caught my eye was another artist. His name is Robert Mayocock, and I'm not quite sure I've pronounced his name correctly. But this is another one where I've given that example to you about even if 
this artist's prints sell really well. Not always will their other pieces of art, such as bells or figurines, plates and whatnot, not always will they sell for the same type of profit. So there were a number of these up, maybe five or six, but there were zero sold. So this is something that I would definitely leave back on the shelf. When it comes to Robert Mayocock Bells, the answer on this one is no. This is not something that you should pick up. Moving back to the bells, I spy another bell. This one is a crystal bell. It's beautiful. It's got a silver plate handle. I start getting a little worried about the quality of it when I look at the, the rubbing on the handle. The um, Some of the silver plate had started rubbing off. But this is a royal crystal rock bell, and there is a sticker on it, luckily for this one, that helped me to see it. There you can see the silver plate was rubbing off, so I wasn't too sure about its quality when I was looking at it but then when I saw the label I thought you know what I'm gonna go ahead and look this up because it is crystal and it might be something worth taking a second look at well I'm glad that I looked it up because there really were not very many sold and there were not selling for very much five dollars eight dollars so the Royal Crystal Rock Bell is definitely not going to be a good pickup. However, what I like to do when I'm doing research on an item like this is I will research other things by that same brand to see if they are worth picking up. And when I did that, I absolutely found stuff that would be worth picking up. So find Royal Crystal Rock, and if you find some of their goblets, some of their wine glasses. These actually were selling for a lot of money. And as you can see, um, people were paying $30, $18, $25 shipping on top of the price that was paid for the, the cups or wine glasses and what have you. So definitely Royal Crystal Rock is something that you should take a second look at when I put my little check it out here take a second look at those because some are worth money and some maybe not so much but it's a brand to, to keep in the back of your mind here leave a comment down below if you know of any brands like that where there are certain items from that brand that sell really well whereas other things from that brand are things that you should leave back on the shelf i'm thinking of michael kors right now i have a, a michael kors shirt that i thought was going to sell for pretty good money and Nope, not so much, but the purses can sell for pretty good. The other items, mm, just need to look it up. It's just another one of those things. Some of these bells I thought were really stunning. There was no maker on that one with the black uh, glaze on it, but this one says USA Pacific Stoneware. So USA Pacific Stoneware Bell. I loved the pine cone and the pine needles on this bell. It was really folly, and you could tell it was a handmade piece that so was really, really nice. And they only wanted about $3.50 for it. This is another one that let's take a look at some of these sold. So there was one kind of similar to the one that I had that sold or best offer was accepted around $30. Then there were some like this little tiger one that sold on auction for $5.99. I don't normally factor in auction prices when I'm looking at solds because I don't do auctions. Generally, I do buy it nows. So I, I saw everything from like $10 to $12 all the way up to $30 plus. So it was really kind of a conundrum for me. And they were all different shapes and styles. And there wasn't really one specific one just like that one that I had and here we go see these are auctions so 99 cents six dollars I don't necessarily take those into consideration when I'm looking at an item so this USA Pacific stoneware bell I think this particular one is a good pickup however if you see that brand I, I put my research magnifying glass here definitely do a deeper dive on those to see if it's something that uh, if that particular bell would be worth picking up this was a fun little sign. I thought that would be cute for a man cave. If I had an antique booth, that might be something else uh, that I might pick up to put in an antique booth. St. Patrick's Day. The bar is open. That's pretty cute. Wait till you see this next item. It is a giraffe, and it's either a... It's not a soap dish. Do you think it's too deep? I put metal giraffe soap dish, but when I did my research on it, 
I looked up trinket dish. I looked up uh, key catcher. I guess it could also be used for, for nuts. It's big enough that it would be, it could be used for something like little nuts or pretzels or just a small sampling of foods that you might put out for, for people. But I could not find that exact one anywhere. There were no marks on it. This is what I found as far as solds. These are trinket, like kind of trinket holders. Uh, and then I found some ring dishes. I really, really couldn't find anything that kind of came close. The closest thing I could find that was similar was on AliExpress. And it was, I guess it's a soap dish. And this was out of stock and they were selling for $96. So this giraffe, metal giraffe, uh, whatever we decide that it is what do you think it is let me know so as you might have guessed because I can't find another one like it this is a definite pickup if you're wanting to learn more about what to pick up from thrift stores and garage sales that you can sell on eBay check out this playlist that I created for you and I'll see you on the next one